Hi everyone, this is Simon from Android Spin, and I thought I would run a quick comparison between the gingerbread on of Cyanogen Mod 7 on the Nexus One and the stock gingerbread update that just came out from Google. I'm going to run a series of benchmarks just to see how they compare to each other and you can see right now the devices are powering on so you can see how quickly the devices start up. On the right hand side I've also thrown in the MyTouch 4G running CM7 just to give some sort of comparison. Uh, you will see the Cyanogen Mod, Mod 7 on the Nexus One is heavily optimized compared to the MyTouch 4G uh, the results are pretty interesting. So, um, all three of these devices are connected to Wi-Fi. So they all have a network connection. They're all configured pretty much the same. The MyTouch 4G is my daily phone, so it does have a lot more of the background tasks running, uh, email and stuff like that. So, let's start off with SmartBench 2011 the new version that's just come out so I'm gonna start it on all three devices as close as possible to each other so there's all three devices running um, you will see a uh, reasonable difference between the Nexus ones um, occasionally even keeping up to the MyTouch 4G like I said it's a lot more optimized or appears to be a lot more optimized on the Nexus 1 I guess the uh, the Nexus 1 has had a lot more support from the developers it's been around for a lot longer they've had much more opportunity to work on the drivers and optimize the code so you can see there the uh, CM7 Nexus 1 is definitely starting to pull ahead uh, it did slow down a little bit and allow the MyTouch 4G to pass but um, that's just there for comparisons really. I wanted to see how the two Nexus ones compared to each other for those of you who are still running stock or haven't tried CM7 yet. So we're up to the string tests the MyTouch 4G pulling ahead uh, running the jellyfish test with the animated jellyfish flying out of the screen so pretty close. The the Nexus ones definitely you can see a difference. So there we go. CM7 on the Nexus has completed. Waiting for the final one to strut its stuff. Okay, all three phones finished. So we've got the My Touch 4G. We have the CM7 Nexus One and we have the stock Nexus One. So I'm not sure if you can see the results on the video but the CM7 Nexus One is all default. The settings, I have not optimized anything, I have not increased the CPU speed so they're both, in fact all three devices are running at 1 GHz. So yeah, the games index on the stock comes out at 669, on the CM7 version comes out at 825. Um, interestingly, the productivity index on the stock comes out at 954, and the CM7 comes out at 956. Not a lot between them. Again, even the MyTouch 4G, a little bit ahead with 962 on the productivity index, and... Uh, 1290 on the gaming index. So they're all pretty close. I mean, obviously the MyTouch 4G pulls out on the gaming index, but uh, not by much. So let's come out of here. And same on the CM7 version. Same on the MyTouch 4G. And let's fire up Quadrant. Let's see what we get on Quadrant. So again, I'll try and start all three at the same time. And there we go. Pretty close. Um, slightly different set of tests. I think the Quadrant seems to be more gaming oriented and graphics than the uh, SmartBench, but still gives a good comparison between each similar devices. So again, you see the CM7 Nexus 1 is actually ahead 
of the MyTouch 4G, which is very interesting. The uh, stock Nexus One is definitely lagging behind a little bit more there. Interesting as well, you can see, you know, the slight differences in the displays. Even my two Nexus One displays are different to each other. You can see different whites. One's a little bit more blue. Um, it's very interesting when you put the phones side by side. So let's see what results we have. So, see, uh, Nexus One stock. We get a 1044 for the device. Uh, with CM7, we get 1217. So a bigger, bigger difference here running Quadrant than there is running the Smartbench. The MyTouch 4G gets a 1649. So... What else? I can also show you, uh, if we take both Nexus 1s, do everything together, they're pretty much the same. I think the CM7 definitely scrolls a little bit better. A little bit more responsive. Um, yep, very similar. CM7 definitely optimized a little bit more. So there you have it. There's a comparison between two Nexus Ones, one running stock Gingerbread, one running Cyanogen Mod CM7. Uh, this was a nightly build from two nights ago, so it's a couple of nights old, but you know, I'm guessing from night to night it doesn't change too much. And then the MyTouch 4G running the latest nightly build for, for that device. So there you have it. I hope this uh, gives you some insight into Cyanogen Mod 7, its performance on different devices, and helps you make a decision whether you'd like to root and um, customize your phone. Thanks a lot for listening and have a great weekend.